everyone, Tina here. Welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome back to Tuesdays with Tina. I'm super excited to share a project with you using the Pot of Gold 12 by 12 collection pack. This is for St. Patrick's Day, of course, and with that being around the month, I thought we'd make it fun the St. Patrick's Day using some pattern papers and some of the stickers in the 12 by 12 collection pack. I'm also going to bring in the My Colors cardstock that coordinates with the Pot of Gold um, collection pack. You can see it's meant to coordinate. The logos are the same here and here, and there's four um, different colors of cardstock in this pack, two of each cardstock sheets. These are 12 by 12 also. Um, but this is just not ordinary cardstock. I want to show you what I mean. Let's take some out and I want to show you each one of these um, cardstock sheets are different. We're going to use three colors. Um, today, not the yellow, the both the greens and then the orange, but I wanted to share with you the texture that is on here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up but this, each of them are colored. This one is Parrot. And you can see the linen texture on here. I love textures on my card and I love that Photoplay has textured paper that, you can, that will coordinate with the collection packs. This here is the Cosmos. And this looks like there are tone on tone polka dots but it's actually not. I don't know if the camera will pick this up but this is embossed love this and it die cuts beautifully and it keeps the embossed when you die cut so we're going to be using this the color here is cosmos the yellow color is called banana pepper and this has a linen texture also i don't know if we can get the camera to hit the light so you can see it so this is lovely cardstock. And then lastly, our green is called Willow Green. This is so pretty. This has like a pearly sheen to it. Like you can kind of see it with the camera. But that pearly sheen is beautiful. And this also has a slight texture to it. Also, linen texture. And the reverse sides too are smooth. So you have two different sides. So I just thought that was neat and wanted to share that with you. Um, we are going to put away the yellow. I'm going to trim these down into some manageable panels and then I'm going to take some pattern paper from our Pot of Gold 12x12 collection pack and um, we'll take the sticker pack also and we'll make a card. I went ahead and picked out the pattern paper that we're going to be using today and also the colored cardstock. I chose, um, I just trimmed these down to A2 panels, although with these I'm going to be using circle dies and I'm going to cut out circles in each one of these. We're going to layer them together to create a neat look. And then for the pattern papers, we're going to be using the Leprechaun 12 by 12 pattern paper. This has cute leprechauns in the back, but I really like the plaid. I'm going to trim these down. I'm going to trim this down to um, some 6x6 six six panels. It's just easier to sh when I do my trimming with you guys. And then I have the So Lucky 12x12 12 12 pattern paper. The reverse size has cut aparts. Everybody loves cut aparts. And I'll trim this down. And then I have my sticker sheet, of course. I do want to share with you, when I was going through the pattern papers in the Pot of Gold collection pack, there is another cut apart sheet, but I thought this was super neat and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the reverse side, and this is called Shenanigans. I just, um, I used to live in California and there used to be a restaurant called Shenanigans. I just thought that was so cute. I just love that name. But these panels are pattern paper panels and I think that is so neat that they included them. Um, they're six by eight panels, so they're great for all different size cards. And I just wanted to share that there's extra pattern papers in here also and extra cut aparts. <laughs> I'm gonna trim down my pattern paper and I'm also gonna cut out some circles in these uh, My Color cardstock sheets, and then we are gonna create a card. Today we are creating an A2 card, so I have my card base. We're using a side folding card base, but we're gonna make it a landscape style card. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Um, I have a the plaid paper. I have trimmed down to a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. This is going to leave me a little bit of a border on my card base. This strip here is a one inch strip by five and a quarter. I also have a strip that's three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches long. This has that fun, and I, I 
just think it's so neat that it has those embossed polka dots. It does the work for you. So I'm going to use this. And then I have a one and a quarter inch strip by five and a quarter inch long. I should have a white cardstock. This is where we're going to add some stickers. And then he, these are my circles. I kind of went in a, a descending circle um, pattern just so I could layer all of these together. So we have the green, which is the willow green. We have the darker green is parrot, and then we have the cosmos. And I love that this has shimmer on it, and I think it, um, it's going to go really good on my card project. We're going to start. Let's go ahead and layer all three of these on our white circle. I'm just going to use my tape runner for this. I love textures, and if cardstock can do that for you, I think it's wonderful. We're going to add our last layer right in the middle here. Okay, I'm going to take this panel, go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Wonderful. And then we have this piece here. I'm going to attach this to the very bottom. This is attached. Now we have this strip of white cardstock. I'm going to take the sticker sheet. And in the sticker sheet there's the words that say lucky. I'm going to take those letters and space them on this white panel. I'm not going to press down with these. Let me show you. I could still put stuff underneath it. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm tacking the bottom but not the top. I want to tuck some leprechauns on here. And so I want to be able to do a little tucking with them. So I'm not going to press down on the top just yet. Just the bottom. For a while there I thought I would have to overlap. It's my lucky day. <laughs> okay, now after we have the letters on here, let's grab some leprechauns. And I like this little guy who's dancing a little jig. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm going to tuck him inside the letters here. I want you to still be able to see the lucky. I think that's a good spot. And then I'm going to take this little leprechaun who's holding the four leaf, actually he's holding a three leaf clover, and I'm going to add him just above the K. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to go ahead and press down on all my letters so that they're sticking to my white cardstock with those leprechauns tucked in there. So now we have a flat piece. There's still adhesive behind here, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to flip this panel around, add some more adhesive, and even along the bottom. And what I'm going to do is first take our um, orange strip, and I just want a little bit showing on the very bottom of my sentiment, maybe about an eighth of an inch. We'll tack this down, and then I'll add a little more adhesive behind that leprechaun that's over the K, and then we'll tack this leprechaun directly to that circle. When you do this, you want to make sure that that circle is not overhanging on the edge. I'm going to bring in some orange and white Baker's twine. We'll bring out that, that orange. So we have Baker's twine. I tied a small bow over here. I'm going to trim the excess with my scissors. And then, I mentioned I like to mention, I'm going to take this, we're going to flip it around, and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. I'm going to remove the release, before I remove the release paper off of this um, foam tape, since this is a sticker that's overhanging, I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool and do a little tapping with it. Add some powder on there. What that's going to do is remove the tackiness. My release paper is still on my foam tape. 
So it's just going to remove the tackiness of my sticker. This way, if it does get smushed in the mail, it's not going to stick. And my layers will still be um, dimensional. Just remove the release paper off of the rest. And we're going to add this towards the bottom, about a quarter inch up. So just a quarter of those shamrocks are showing. We'll add that to our card here. Wonderful. Now I want to add just a couple more sham uh, clovers. And we have the light and the dark. And I thought we would just add a couple. Maybe to the Y here. I'm going to go ahead and take a black marker. And I want to add, do a little faux stitching with it around the green colored cardstock. Since we have some black boots and black shirt, I think the black will really tie it together. So I'm just going to do a little bit of faux stitching. So I did it around the dark green cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and do it around the, the lighter green also. Okay, and then for a little bit of dimension, I have some black gems that are small enough to put on the eyes of our little leprechaun. And this just adds to the textures that are on the card. We'll add these over our little leprechauns. And that finishes off my card today. I hope you enjoyed my project. I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.